Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Beetle Uprising. This is a game that you can find on Steam's Early Access program for about 10 bucks. It's important to stress Early Access, that means the game is still under development, and everything that you're about to see is subject to change. I got my press key just now, so uh, this is going to be more of a first impressions video, and I'm anxious to try it out because I've been playing a lot of bug games lately, and I'm curious to see how this compares. Options menu, you've got uh, graphics, resolution here, full screen, quality settings, uh, audio options. I do have the music turned down for the sake of the commentary, but I was told that the music was created by the developer and I'm free to use it. So unlike a lot of my other videos, you can hear music this particular one. So that's pretty awesome. Camera controls, auto saves, screenshots. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a go. Wow, okay. She's Rambet. Okay. Interesting. All right, this is the help screen. To get here later, hit escape and select the help button. For now, check out the overview of the game to get the handle on what Beetle Uprising is all about. You are in control of a fledging beetle nest left by the matriarch who died clearing it for you. Your goal is to conquer this beautiful abandoned lot. You'll start play in your home nest. This is a safe place for you to breed and raise your beetles. You will need to care for your beetles, collecting food and supplies by doing tasks in the abandoned lot. Selectively breeding ever stronger, faster, healthier beetles is the key to your success. Your initial beetles are weak. Completing missions will give you eggs with new genetics. Breed the new beetles with existing ones. Sounds a little bit like Fish Tycoon from, like, uh, Big Fish games. Anyway, it's only the map of a vacant lot, but it is the world to your beetles. From the map, you will send your beetles on tasks to gather... Needed supplies for the nest. Superior and happier beetles succeed more often. Missions are an RTS engagement on a 3D map. There are tricks and tactics to get the most out of your beetle swarms, but sometimes you just need better beetles. If your beetles cannot beat the foe, try going back and breeding for the stats that you think they need to succeed. Okay, uh, quick reference. Wow, look at all this stuff. All right. I don't know how much I want to read off to you here because there's a lot as you can see. So I'm going to try and just figure it out as I go. Combat missions. Okay. Controls. All right. Typical RTS controls from the looks of it. And there's a manual here. Oh, this opens in the Steam Overlay browser. Okay. I have my Steam Overlay browser disabled. So this is not doing anything for me at this point in time. Okay, let's go ahead and close help and get started. The beetles need items placed in the nest to thrive. Click this button to view your inventory. From there, you can select items that will improve your beetles' happiness and health. Is that like Beetle Tycoon? Okay. Double click on an item, then move your cursor over the ground of the nest. Click again to place the item into the nest. Hold the shift key to place multiple copies. Holding the mouse down and dragging while placing an item rotates it. You can also click and drag an item off the inventory to place things even more quickly. All right, well. Pumpkin seed. Slice of bread. So I'm wondering if it... Goop. Goop is used to power breeding and swarm making for missions. You get goop when you gain a level and from tasks. Okay. <clears throat> Guess we'll put this down here and see if that does anything for them. The plan, not welcome. Okay. Oh, okay. It's kind of cool. 
All right, so what's this now? Sugar cube, bed of grass. I guess this is like for sleeping. I'm curious to know what currency, what is going on over here? Were they mating or fighting? I'm not sure. Create your swarms, not welcome. Okay. The game pause simulation time for you. Every time you leave the nest, the game will auto pause simulation time for you. You can start again whenever you want. To turn off auto pause and completely manage simulation time yourself, go to the options menu and set disable auto pause. It's time to make a swarm to go on a mission. Okay, so that button I just hit in the upper left hand corner, I guess was your mission button. All right. The selected beetle will be used to create a swarm of copies that will enter the battlefield. Making a swarm takes a lot out of a beetle, so expect it to take a while to fully recover. The slider lets you control the number of units in the swarm. Each unit copy of the beetle in the swarm costs you the specified goop. The total goop that will be used to go on the mission is shown at the bottom. When you have selected the best, uh, the beetle you want to copy and have to chosen the swarm size, click begin. Okay, well, so cost for units 18. Okay, so each of these arrows indicates that a beetle has a superior inferior stat relative to the rest of the collection. So it looks like yellow is good and red is bad, possibly. Alright, I wonder if there's a way... Okay, let's cancel this for right, <clears throat> for right now and focus on this before we jump into something else. But that's actually kind of cool. Alright, so you can click on, I guess, your various beetle variations from down here. What is this now? Is this the name of... Oh, this is the name of the... Nice, so I can rename this if I want to. I think. So if I want to name this... Agiskiki? I... Ugh, just name it Ugh. There we go, Ugh. Tupagup. Well, let's, let's just name it Gup. Gup and Ugh. Alright, what's this now? Strength, quickness, regeneration, health, perception. Okay, so these are the stats that the beetles have, I see. Oh, so you can filter this display by clicking on these buttons. So if you just click on Q, whoever has, I guess, the higher one. Yeah, so this GUP has a higher uh, regeneration rating than this UG. Same with health. This one has uh, better perception. Okay, so you can actually see the stats down here too, which is nice. Depending on which one you click, the numbers are changing. Okay. Um, map. The map screen shows that you a map of the vacant lot that you're trying to conquer. All right, this is the nest area in the bottom right. By exploring areas and completing missions, you can conquer the whole map. The icons on the map show activities your beetles can do to advance the swarm's goals. Some activities let you explore an area, which either discovers the area itself or finds new activities. Some activities send a beetle to forage for food or scavenge for useful items. All right. Tasks and missions for the selected area show up here. Okay. This is a combat mission. There are st stragglers around our nest left over from the Matriarch's Great Struggle. You must eliminate them to proceed. So, okay, so this is the not welcome uh, mission that I tried embarking on earlier but canceled. Interesting. So I can't, act I can't go to any of these other locations yet. I, I think I have to complete these. Okay, so this well-rested one. Okay, um, so scavenging tasks gather useful items for the nest like beds, toys, and grooming objects. The selected beetle will leave the nest for the duration of the task and return when it's done. Armor and strength affect injury and death chances. Perception, regeneration, and happiness affects success successful chancing of uh, scavenging. All right. The activity is in a hostile environment, which increases the chance of injury. Complete the mission in this area to conquer the area to make the area friendly. Okay, so there's foraging, there's well-rested, exploring around the nest, and not welcome. Okay. Let's go back. 
Uh, breeding. This is the breeding screen. Two parents were automatically chosen, but you can choose which beetles to breed by clicking on a parent slot and then selecting a beetle from the list at the bottom. Once you have selected the parents to breed, click the breed button in the middle. Right. There are nine possible offspring to choose from, and you get to keep the one you like the best. You can sort the offspring using the buttons to the right. Okay, so if I wanted to, yeah, do strength, for example. Okay. So if I wanted to concentrate on strength, I might want this one. Although he has a low regeneration value. Uh, this one has very low perception and F, what was F? Ferocity. Okay. Um, is there like a, all right, so attack. What's the attack feature? I don't see that. Oh, the type of attack this beetle uses in combat. So I guess they're all just like melee. But I'm guessing there's going to be some ranged ones at some point. There's quickness, regeneration. I mean, this one looks kind of nice too. High strength and high regeneration. Let's go with this one. We'll keep this. Let's name him... Um... Uh... Uh... uh Strength and regeneration. Rambo, sure. Okay. Because Rambo can never die, and, you know, he's got, like, muscles out the wazoo. Makes sense. Okay. Um, what about these other buttons? The nest? Okay, so this is that. And this is the inventory. Okay. Cool. Burlap sack. What exactly does that do? Oh, so these numbers down here just tell you how much you have of that object. I see. So I guess you have to go out and get more stuff. Here we go. Ah, oh, there's the little one that we just hatched. There's some sugar cubes. They're happy. Now, I have no idea what they're doing over here. I, uh... Pet rock. <laughs> okay. Here, have a pet rock. Here's another pet rock. What is this now? Some twine. Oh, I think he's grooming himself. I think that's what that is. Now, why is this one active, but not the other ones from the menu? That's kind of weird. Like, here's the plan, not welcome. But if I go to the map, like, there's all these other ones. But I wonder if this is, like, supposed to be completed in a certain order. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do this one fine. We'll go ahead and use the UG. Oh, no, we, let's use the Rambo that we wanted. Oh, they're not fully grown yet, so we can't do that. All right. Well, we could, but they're going to be weak. I'm not going to do that. All right, well, which one has... All right, so UG has strength and quickness, but low regeneration. This GOP doesn't have high strength or quit. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go with UG on this one. And let's do 50, just to make sure we've got enough. I like the idea so far. It's really cool. It's a lot different than the other bug games that I've been playing lately. All right, so here they are. Kill all the wandering enemies. Complete one all one-star objectives. Finish in less than three minutes. Or if I can complete it in one and a half minutes... That's even better. This is a swarm of beetles to control. Click on the ground to set the marker where you want them to go. Move your swarm forward. All right, so I just left click on the map. Or just left click anywhere. Mouse wheel to zoom or Q and E. Okay. WASD to move the camera. Double tap one to make the camera follow your swarm. Beetles will automatically attack when they are close to enemies. Shift key. Oh, okay, so double clicking tell them tells them to ignore. I see. And the, yeah, see the little sparkling there next to the smoke. All right, let's try and complete these objectives quickly. Oh, here they are. Ooh, that hurt. You know that hurt. Too bad I can't split them up. Like, I'm trying to complete this in a particular time frame, but... 
I like to split them up so I can take on multiple groups at once. Whether or not that's smart is a different story. Kill all the wa- I'm trying to kill all the wandering enemies, but... Oh, that was a ranged bug. It fired some type of crap at me. Alright, uh, there's another one down here. Okay, so holding in middle mouse lets me rotate. The music sounds like I'm in a gladiator battle. I don't think I can get that. Alright, so I'm not going to make that minute 30 there, but... If, if this... Yeah, I'd love to be able to complete that, however... I can't seem to get... Oh, now I can get through. That's weird. Oh, okay. So that was the last one, too. Uh, Red is very unhappy. Beetles need food, fun, rest, and grooming to be happy. So it looks like I've earned... Uh... I don't know what these stars mean. Pumpkin seed, goop, XP. All right. So I think what I need for that mission is one that's really speedy. One that's really fast so I can get around and kill stuff quickly. Yeah, we'll let this one heal for a while. This one is currently regenerating. Um, are you stuck? New beetle. Yundadakt. That sounds Klingon. Dakt. Oh, Daki. No, not Daki. Dakt. I like simple. Alright, so we're gonna drag more pumpkin seeds. And whatever this is. Tup. Okay. Tup. Just name them Tup. So I guess they start out young. The rest of the gourd is too big to carry. That will do, Beetle. <laughs> okay, so the next one is pumpkin seed, or is that just a description? I think that's just a description over here. This reminds me of Zoo Tycoon a little bit, in the sense that you, you're creating environments for your animals, and you're putting various items down to make them happy, and you get to watch them interact with these objects as well. But this, this RTS mechanic is definitely cool. Um, I guess we'll try Explore the Red Rocks. Um, chance of death, 2.9%. Chance of injury, 19%. Well, maybe we should do a different beetle. Oh, so we can toggle between these. So yeah, this one that's 43% has a better chance because it's happier. Rambo's all grown up. I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and use him. This beetle is on a task. Rambo will be out of the nest for a minute 45 and will then report the status of... Okay, so the combat ones I take direct control of, these are sort of like automatic. Okay, what about this one? That's the two-star one that I just did. This one is... Oh, this is rest. Chance of success. Guess we'll try that. And this one... Scout the area for more resources. 44% chance. Alright, go ahead. Um, I thought I sent Rambo out on that mission. Oh, I see. There's little icons next to these telling me what they're doing. I see. All right. Well, let's let's have Dact here work on that one. Okay. So I think they're all doing something now. If I go back to my nest. Oh, there they go. Oh, 
Although, the... all I see are shadows up here. I don't know what this one's doing. I'm gonna fast forward time a smidge. Ugh, failed to complete task. Well rested. Okay. Tup failed to complete task. Explore around. Wow, they're all failing. There we go. Dact, good job. Forgiven harvest. So we've, we've harvested some food, some goop, and some XP. Should we send them back out? Or do they need to wait a little bit and get rested? Gup is really happy. Clearly. And it looks like they have uh, great needs, too. Like, this Dact here... Greatest need right now is grooming and... Is not fully... Gro okay, so right now this one wants to be groomed. And it looks like these things change over time. Alright, let's go back to inventory and put these things down. Hopefully these things don't spoil or anything. Rambos is successful. Okay, so we got goop and XP. Um, can we breed Rambo? Because Rambo's awesome. Rambo and... Okay, so it costs goop to do this. I kind of like... Well... What's... I guess I want quickness, right? Because I'm trying to complete that other one on three stars. Quickness and strength, I think. Top and Ugg have the same strength and quickness. Oh, they have the same stats all around. What's up with that? Huh. What did I just do? Wow. Look at all this genetic information here. Interesting. Neat. So I just double click on it then? Yeah. So double clicking on these down here brings this up. Store. Okay. Let's go back here. I guess we'll try more missions. Maybe we need more stuff. At this point, I'm not exactly sure what the progression system is besides doing a bunch of, uh, you know, things around the nest to try and get better. All right. Rambo's relatively happy. I want to go foraging and try and get more stuff. And it looks like you can complete them a certain number of times. It says, uh, Forgiven Harvest, 19 out of 20. I'm wondering if you're limited on how many times you can do these. Now it says 18 out of 20. Alright, Gup. Yeah, so definitely, the happier they are, the better chance of success. So that's that's what we want to do. We'll wait until, like, they're super happy and then send them out. He's mostly dead. Okay. Oh, you can sort by health as well. Interesting. Attack type bite does basic physical damage. Oh, so there's bile spit. That's the other type of attack in this game. Juice the selected beetle. This destroys the beetle and recovers some... Oh, it's disgusting. How do I unlock more slots? Like, part of me wants to get rid of some of these because they're not... They seem to be... They've got the same stats, as far as I can tell. Like, tough... Whoop. Succeeded! Awesome! We got more... Rambo is awesome. We're keeping Rambo, that's for sure. Oh, and Gup did a very good job, too. We got a drop of Nectar. Got more XP. 
Ah, we can now have up to eight beetles in our nest. We can now save up to three beetle appearances. We also got this wooden block. Also tall wooden building block. Lots of goop and a red crystal cluster. Guess we'll put some more of that down. We've got plenty of food out, don't we? Yeah. Let's put this, let's give them some fun. Now, I don't know what these blocks do, but we'll put some down and see what they do with it. And then this red crystal. All hail the mighty crystal. This is a really charming little game, I gotta say. It's early access, but still, it... I like what it's doing. Alright, Gup is happy again. I'm gonna send him out somewhere. Let's get more stuff. Alright, Gup, go get that. Um... Oh, did I do... I did well rested instead of... So what does well rested do? They give you some rest, okay. But don't they rest when they're in the nest? Why do we need this for? Possible rewards. Oh, so we can get rewards for doing this as well. Okay. All right, which one has the best chance of success? Rambo could do it 67% chance. Seventy-five percent chance for that. Eighty-six, ninety-eight. Nice. All right, let's have Ugg and Tup do this one. Sixty-five, fifty-four. I guess these two need to be rested a little bit more. Oh, you can actually see them on the map doing their thing. That's cool. You couldn't see it before because they were uh, the game auto paused it. All right, we succeeded. We got a cotton towel, a bed of grass, a bed of leaves, and XP. We also got some food, some apples, uh, pumpkin seed, uh, blueberries, hazelnut. Okay, um, let's go for this. I want to get more well rested stuff going here. Eighty-seven percent. This one seems to be harder to complete, this well-rested one. Alright, breeding. Um, we definitely want to breed Rambo. That's all I gotta say. Rambo is awesome sauce. Although I think I can't do it while I'm out. I'll have to wait till he comes back. I wonder what you get if you complete it on three stars. Gained you the highest ranking on the mission. Okay, so what does the ranking do, though? Hmm. I wonder if you get more rewards, possibly, but it doesn't look like it. It doesn't actually say. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and come back to the nest. So, yeah, like I was saying, really interesting little game. Um, I'm definitely... Gonna be playing this again in the future, because I have a feeling you guys are gonna like it too. So I guess with that being said, um, you guys better subscribe to my channel. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. And of course, I do have an official website out there, www.nadsgamingaddiction.com, where I write reviews on occasion and post links to any board game coverage that I do. Not all of you are into tabletop games, but some of you are. What the heck is this? What just happened? What? 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 What is going on? What? Wow. The bread just up and jumped away somehow. Sure. That was weird. That was strange. All right, let's give him some food. All right. So with that said, this is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.